have decided that the global monkeypox outbreak represents a public health emergency of international concern. On July 23rd, the World Health Organization declared monkeypox a public health emergency of international concern. We have an outbreak that has spread around the world rapidly through new modes of transmission about which we understand too little. As cases have spread throughout 2022, Storyful has been verifying content posted online. The virus, which resembles smallpox, can be transmitted from one person to another through close contact with lesions, body fluids, respiratory droplets, and contaminated materials such as bedding. Monkeypox is not classified as sexually transmitted disease. The disease, which was first recorded in 1970, has a fatality rate of 3 to 6 percent, according to the WHO. In 2022, deaths have been recorded in Spain, Brazil, and India. Historically, reported cases have mostly been restricted to Central and West Africa. The first outbreak outside the continent was in 2003, when at least 70 people in the US contracted the disease. As of August 11, 2022, a total of 89 locations around the world were reporting cases of monkeypox. 82 were countries that had not historically reported cases of the virus. A total of 31,800 cases have been reported worldwide this year, according to the United States Centers for Disease Control. Some of those diagnosed with monkeypox have taken to social media to detail their symptoms and the impact the disease has had on their lives. This disease and virus is spreading quickly and there is not enough information for people to know what they're doing and how to help. I was just lying on the sofa and uh, I wasn't able to move and I wasn't able to sleep because fever and the shivers and the body pain was too much to handle. I wanted to post about this to spread awareness and remind people to check their bodies, especially during Pride Month when there will be lots of large gatherings with lots of close human contact. I also want to do away with any stigma or embarrassment that anybody might have about getting any form of disease. These things happen. According to the WHO, the recent global outbreak continues to primarily affect men who have sex with men who have reported recent sex with new or multiple partners. The organization has been clear in dispelling homophobic reactions to the spread of the virus. This is not a gay disease, as some people in social media have, have attempted to, to label it. Some who have been diagnosed with the illness have shared their experience with receiving homophobic reactions and comments. So let's stop with the stigma and let's not have a repeat of how infections have been poorly handled in the past. Members of the LGBT community have been critical of the government response online and in person. In San Francisco, protesters demanded easier access to vaccination at a July 18 rally. On July 21st, New York City residents gathered in Manhattan's Foley Square for a protest calling for public health care and vaccination. Protesters called for funding for public health and widespread vaccination efforts that include sex workers, people of color, and transgender, gender non-conforming, and non-binary people. They called attention to the management of previous public health issues in the U.S., including COVID-19 and HIV. A speaker at the protest spoke of long queues and vaccine shortages in the city. Every single goddamn case was preventable. Days later, the New York Times published a report saying that some 300,000 doses of a ready-to-use vaccine owned by the United States, sat in a facility in Denmark. The report said American officials had waited weeks as the virus spread in New York and beyond before deciding to ship those doses to the United States. Protesters disrupted the 24th annual AIDS conference in Montreal on August 1st to advocate for equal and widespread access to the vaccine. Several studies have found vaccination against smallpox 85% effective against monkeypox. And in 2019, a newer vaccine was approved for the prevention of monkeypox. Countries in Europe and North America have started vaccinating close contacts and at-risk people against the disease. As cases of monkeypox have increased in recent weeks, some social media users have claimed that it has been classified as a pandemic. While cases continue to cause concern for people and governments around the world, monkeypox has not yet been classified as a pandemic. 
Most recently, the United States declared it a public health emergency.